When Apple NASDAQAAPL announced the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and iPhone X on September 12, one disappointment was that the iPhone X, easily the most interesting phone of the bunch, would come to market quite a bit later than the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. Apple began taking pre-orders for the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus on September 15, and availability of the devices is expected to begin on September 22. That's 10 days from keynote to phones in customers' hands. Image source Apple. By contrast, Apple won't even begin to take pre-orders for the iPhone X until October 27th, about a month and a half after the keynote address with first deliveries occurring on November 3rd. Now a new report, this time from analyst Christopher Carso and his team via Barron's claims that Apple HASNT yet begun mass production of the iPhone X and that the production schedule has even been pushed out. Let's take a close look at what the report had to say and what it could mean for Apple stock. Final production imminent but the research note production on the iPhone X is expected to start in mid-October. That production start is about a month later when compared to expectations a month ago, and about two months later than expectations at the end of June, the note read. There were several rumors and reports over the last several months claiming that Apple was working to the wire to get a Touch ID sensor embedded underneath the display of the iPhone X, but the technology ultimately didnt work, forcing Apple to abandon its plans to include Touch ID in this year's iPhone X at the same time, though those reports were apparently contradicted by well-connected Apple blogger John Gruber, as well as Matthew Panzarino, editor-in-chief of TechCrunch. Both these individuals claim, citing sources within Apple, that Apple made the decision to exclude Touch ID long ago. So if we don't attribute this production delay to an abandoned attempt to get Touch ID implemented in iPhone X, then we need to find an alternative explanation. There's no shortage of alternatives. One possible explanation is that the display on the iPhone X Touch ID embedded underneath it or not is just hard to build. Digitimes reported a few days ago that the difficulties involved in manufacturing the iPhone XS display led to manufacturing delays, but that those problems have now been addressed. The Wall Street Journal in a separate report has appeared to second this, claiming that Apple and its suppliers also ran into trouble manufacturing the OLED displays. Additionally, another key feature of the iPhone X is its new 3D sensing technology, which Apple markets as a true depth camera system. My fellow foolish colleague Evan NIU recently pointed out that one of the two suppliers of vertical cavity surface omitting lasers key components of Apple's true depth camera is a bit late in getting its parts qualified. This means that Apple must rely on a single vendor for the entirety of its VCSEL needs until Finazar's parts are qualified. Halving the number of suppliers for such a critical component may have created a significant production bottleneck that further contributed to the delay in volume shipments of the iPhone X.